In this woodworking guide for Elder Scrolls Online, we'll provide details on how to level fast and craft shields, bows, and staves. Woodworking is a very similar profession to blacksmithing and clothing, and mostly the same rules apply. Max level in woodworking also lets you improve any acquired purple gear to legendary gear, which is extremely valuable to complete endgame sets. You can, however, still utilize this vocation as you level up, as the material cost for lower level crafted sets is quite minimal. Just keep in mind that until you reach the champion ranks, it may be more trouble than it's worth, as you will quickly outlevel it. Woodworking crafting in Esso begins by interacting with any woodworking station in the world. To get certified and unlock Ritz, visit Melanith near any starting area's fighter guild, Vivek in Morrowind, or Alinor in Somerset. Ritz are unlocked upon completing the quest she gives and interacting with the woodworking station presents six options. Refine. Refining converts raw woodworking materials into woodworking process materials that can be used to craft gear. Raw woodworking materials come in the form of harvestable branches, usually found near trees on the ground throughout Tamriel. Refining raw materials can also yield resins used to improve gear. The chance of acquiring resin increases with the wood extraction passive. Creation. Crafting gear is done on the Creation tab. Craft shields, click on the helmet icon on the top right corner. In order to create an item, you need to 1. Choose which item to create. 2. Choose the wood type and amount. Amount determines the level. Press plus or minus to change the amount. 3. Choose the style which determines how your gear looks. Unlocking new styles is done by acquiring motifs which usually drop anywhere randomly, but can also be obtained in other manners. Style materials are acquired through deconstructing, refining, and via vendor that usually stands near the woodworking station. 4. The final option is to choose a trait. Trait materials are obtained by deconstructing gear and refining wood. Deconstruct. Deconstruct means destroying an item in order to get the materials from it and inspiration, crafting XP. It is the primary way of leveling woodworking since it gives more inspiration than creation. Keep in mind that you do not get much inspiration from deconstructing items that you craft yourself, but you do from items others have crafted. Improvement. Improvement means upgrading item quality. More materials used equals a higher chance of success. Items are destroyed upon failure, so ideally you would want to use enough materials to reach 100%. Improvement materials can be found by deconstructing items and refining wood. Research. Traits are researched through this option. Items can be researched only if they have the magnifying glass icon next to it. Upon successful trait research, you are given an option to use the trait in creation, but only for that same piece of equipment you acquired the trait from. For example, if power trait has been researched from the restoration staff, you can use the power trait on any future restoration staff created. Blueprints. The blueprints option is used to create furnishings. Recipes for more furnishings drop randomly and can also be bought from guild traders and guild stores. These usually require a special material called heartwood in order to create. Heartwood is acquired randomly from looting wood nodes. Researching traits on every piece of equipment is very important for multiple reasons. Firstly, when out in the world you will stumble upon special crafting stations where you can craft sets that give specific set bonuses. These bonuses depend on the crafting station, and every set has trait requirements, meaning if you did not research enough traits for that piece of equipment, you won't be able to craft it. So if I want to craft a bow of Torx Pact, I need to have any three traits researched for bows. If I want to craft a shield of Torx Pact, three traits must also be researched, but for shields. Do not forget that at special crafting stations, every vocation station will produce the same set bonuses. For example, if you use the jewelry station at the same location, Torx Pact rings and necklaces can be crafted as well. Another important aspect of having all traits researched is that you can utilize transmutation. Transmutation offers an option to change traits on equipment, however it does bind the item in the process to you. Bound items are non-tradable but can still be deconstructed or used on alternate characters via your bank. Transmutation can only be done in the Clockwork City DLC area or at any player housing that possesses a transmutation system. Visit the Hall of Refined Techniques in the Brass Fortress to start transmuting. In order to transmute an item, you'll need the following. Access to any transmutation station. The desired trait researched for the specific item in question. And the required amount of transmutation crystals, 50. Transmute crystals are obtained via daily random dungeons, veteran dungeons, trials, undaunted pledges, PvP, and holiday events. They usually come in the form of transmutation geodes that need to be opened via inventory to receive transmute crystals. The amount each geode possesses is somewhat randomized, with higher quality possessing more. Keep in mind that you cannot store more than the cap 200 in your inventory, so don't open your geodes if you are already there. Upgrading woodworking skills is crucial to creating powerful equipment while also being efficient to reduce the leveling grind. Upgrading these passives is done by investing skill points into them. Skill points are earned through various means such as leveling up, doing quest chains with skill points as reward, 
non-repeatable dungeon quests, sky shards, and ranking up in PvP. Woodworking. Woodworking skill allows the use of higher level materials. It is important to upgrade this as soon as possible for faster leveling. The Kenai passive makes rough wood more visible by making it glow when nearby. Rough wood is relatively easy to spot, making this passive optional, but it doesn't hurt to place one point here if you can spare it. Lumberjack Hireling. The Hireling passive enables a Hireling to collect woodworking materials while the player is offline. Useful for amassing materials for end game, but isn't required. Woodwork Extraction. The Woodwork Extraction passive improves the chances of acquiring more and better materials through deconstruction and refinement, and also enables refining higher quality resins. It is important to upgrade this as soon as possible because it helps in acquiring rarer materials needed for improvement. Carpentry. Carpentry reduces research times and allows research of more items at once. Useful throughout the game to research as many traits as possible before reaching end game. Place points here whenever you can. Resin Expertise. The Resin Expertise passive increases your improvement chances. While it is more helpful at end game, you can place spare points here if you will be crafting gear as you level up. The best way to level woodworking is to deconstruct everything and doing lots of dungeons is the best way of amassing lots of woodworking gear for said deconstruction. Next to that, daily woodworking writs are also a nice boost with the possibility of nice rewards as well upon completion. The fastest woodworking leveling method is with a friend or an alternate character and the following is a step-by-step -step guide. First, both of you start by crafting lots of level 4 bows. Next, trade with the alt via the bank or with a friend and deconstruct what each other has crafted for maximum inspiration. Repeat the first two steps until woodworking rank 5 is achieved. Upgrade the woodworking passive. Both start crafting lots of level 16 bows, trade, and deconstruct until woodworking rank 10 is achieved. Then upgrade the woodworking passive again. Keep crafting bows in this order while repeating the above steps level 26, 36, 46, CP 10, 40, 80, 100. Visit guild traders and guild stores if low on materials. Final tips, woodworking in Esso is a rewarding endgame vocation where you can craft powerful shields, bows, and staves by using harvested rough wood around the world. Woodworking is useful for every role as healers and light armor DPS will need staves, stamina DPS will need bows, and tanks will need shields. Learn where the best places to farm wood are because there are definitely better places than others. Heavily wooded areas are probably the best, but some other areas are known for having a lot of wood as well, like the Clockwork City for example. Do not refine any more materials than is necessary to craft what you need until you have maxed out the woodwork extraction passive. This will give you the highest yield of rosin which is used to upgrade epic quality items to legendary. These are valuable items and there is no reason to waste the opportunity to acquire them by processing materials you do not even need. As with any crafting vocation, inspiration gain can be boosted by 10% from SL+, 10% from the orc race, and 20% from the inspiration boost campaign skill. Stay tuned for more SO guides as we take on crafting, dungeons, PvP, and of course builds. Also, be sure to check out our jewelry crafting guide, enchanting crafting guide, alchemy crafting guide, and leveling guides.